Do you want to unlock your iPhone 4S or your iPhone 4? Well, if so, there's a new repo out that allows you to unlock any iPhone 4 or 4S on any baseband. To do this, you'll go into Cydia and hit Manage, go to Sources, and then you'll have to hit Edit, and then Add. From here, you go and add this repo. Repo dot Bingner B I N G N E R dot com. And then you select add source. I've already added the source. Once you've added it, select it. Go down to Sam. Select SAM. It is a subscriber artificial module. Select install. And then you'll have to install all this. Hit confirm. This may take a little while depending on your internet connection. Once installed, Reload the springboard. Once that's done, head back in and you'll find SAM Preps. Open SAM Preps and from here you will need to go to utilities and you'll need to deactivate your iPhone once you do that you will need to make sure the activation state is set to deactivated so we'll go to more information and make sure the activation state is deactivated in this case I have a Sprint iPhone I'm not going to unlock it, so I will not perform that action. Now, take note of the IMSI number down underneath the SAM details. You will need to select that, and then select all, and then hit copy. Once you've done that, go back out of that, go back to the, the main area here. Once you have copied it, uh, go ahead and pop out your current SIM card that you are using and then pop in your new SIM card and hit OK. Now go back and select method. The method here, it would have had auto detect. You will need to go and select country and carrier. Head back out. Go to country, select your country, and then go to carrier and select your carrier. Most of my viewers here will be going to scroll all the way down to T Mobile USA. Once you've done that, go back to your more information tab and then Go back to the SAM details, select it, select all, and then hit paste. This will paste in that old, the other IMSI number over top of that. Now go back to the main screen and select utilities and select attempt activation. This will be right here. If you're done the steps correctly, you should see a black screen with the white spinning uh, logo, like you have just resprung your device. And once you come up to your new screen, you'll go back into SAM Preps. Now, where it says Enabled under Subscriber Artificial Module, turn that off. That would be right here.
turn that off. Now get near your computer so that you can plug your iPhone into iTunes. Uh, we are done with Sam Preps. You don't need to touch this any longer once you've completed all those steps. Now go ahead and plug your iPhone into iTunes. Once iTunes detects your device, you are going to see a message that says that the iPhone failed to activate. That's actually a good thing. That's what you want to see. And you may have to plug and unplug your device two or three times until you see the new carrier logo in the upper left of your screen. Once you plug your device in, you know, I'd wait, wait a couple minutes or so. And if you don't see the carrier logo, unplug it and then plug your phone back in until you see the new carrier logo. Don't be alarmed when you see that message that says it can't be activated. Your device can't be activated. That's totally fine. To get back, if you want to go back to, say, AT&T after you've unlocked a T-Mobile, you will need to go back to your previous carrier. You just uh, pop out your, uh, say, T-Mobile SIM card, and then you pop back your AT&T SIM card, and then go through the process of plugging in your device into iTunes again until you see the, the AT&T logo at top. So, if you like this video, if this helped you out, leave some comments down below. Let me know how this worked, if it worked for you. Also, don't forget, hit the subscribe button above. And hit the like button down below. Share this video with your family and friends. It really, really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.